take a look at this gold. Oh. Hey, we're saving the last goldfish. But I do need to keep these guys in here. Those are native here in Texas. Sweet heavens, look how precious this little creature is. Oh, ow, ooh, ow. See, there's just a bunch of little bruises and bites. Oh, well. Wow. Patrick Bateman? There are no restaurants in Waco, so you boys are going to have to just... Hey, good morning, everybody. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. As you can see, I have Patrick Bateman. I'm keeping him in here for now. And this little Gustavo Fring boy is doing very, very well in here. Today is the day I'm going to be going in here and getting all of the little fishies and crawfish that are still in there. We are already got this adorable boy in the trap. I'm gonna be rehoming him to another little pond or something later. Okay, so he just threw up two fish that he'd been digesting for a while, probably. And I think there's still quite a bit in his little belly, so I think he was eating a lot of those crawfish. Well, we've caught this little fellow here a ton of time, and I used to enjoy seeing this little fellow going around eating my toads, but now I don't want that to happen. And it's not gonna be safe for her to be here while we're excavating, so I'm gonna go ahead and release her somewhere. Free snake moment. There's still some little crawfish in her belly I see that she's digesting. Just like when we were excavating for the plumbing for the new house, these chickens love to just hop around and eat all the worms the second the guys overturn the ground. Look how precious this little man is. Patrick's doing a little bit better. He's still favoring that back right ankle. So I'm only letting him run around for five to ten minutes a day. But while these guys are unloading all this stuff, I'm letting this guy run around. Every time I bottle feed him, I let him come out here. I let him poop and pee. Then I put him right back inside in restricted mobility. It's actually very common for little guys that are raised on the bottle to have little injuries and spray. Oh, got a nice big crawl dad in there. All right, boy, we're going through here getting these crawl dads. There are no restaurants in Waco, so you boys are going to have to just deal with whatever we catch tonight. <laughs> oh, nice big one right there. This is one of the ones I caught. Downtown Waco, I put that in a video. This one's massive. That's insane. It's all those hot dogs. Yeah. That's a monster. One of the ducks laid an egg in the pond forever ago. All right, everybody, I got the rest of the crawfish and the goldfish in here. We're going to get them to the other pond as quickly as we can. These guys said a lot of folks just leave the old fish and crawfish to die, but not at the Urban Rescue Branch. Hey, we're saving the last goldfish. Perfect. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you so much, King. Wow. Okay, he's still very much alive he swam off just fine another flawless crawfish rescue look at this perfect little man he just peeing in the corner on the floor now that he's done peeing he's just gonna walk back into his little crate and sleep goodbye sir he gets up every now and then he comes over here he pees on the floor and sleeps look at this precious little man he just puts himself right to bed like that yeah they were for sure eating your chips well sorry guys free chickens close that door up i don't have to oh, there you go come on okay we couldn't get a cichlid yesterday in austin but thankfully be alt got a really beautiful one look mm. at this and those are native here in texas and they're legal to keep as pets but now we have a nice little spread of all the native fish that we can have here in texas wow look at that beautiful boy that is so neat and it's huge too as is i'm gonna have to do a water change because there's so much stuff in here but here's some clips of be all catching these fish down in downtown austin where we went the night before at one point ben and i found a lady literally taking a bath right here there's a lot of fish over here these are green sunfish could be pretty but we're looking for the rio grande sick lid all right get on over here big boy numero dos we're risking life and limb out here. There's actually been a serial killer targeting men here in Austin. Look at this one, guys. Oh, that is a real grande sickle. And you're going to Waco. Met this fine gentleman over here. Good gave him some of these. Glenn. Glenn. We got Glenn doing? over here. Oh, we're good. Got some of these lures. He's going to go catch himself some brim, too. Hey, you enjoy the rest of your day. I will. Thank you much. Man. That's a beautiful little long-eared sunfish. Look at the red on that boy. Okay, guys. This is the end of day one. As you can see here, we're filling up these little troughs here so that we can wash out all the gravel. This whole top thing here is going to be a wetland filter. I mean, it's going to be full of these little boxes here and a ton of gravel. And the gravel will filter through all the nasty capybara poop or whatever else that we have here, any waterfowl poop. And basically this entire thing will be all full of gravel and those boxes. Now, only the top six inches are going to be actual water here. Maybe a little bit more if we decide to do that. And I think there's going to be a little mini spillway that goes into this pond, which is going to be aquascaped by all these rocks that I buy. When that's all done, the grass will finally start to grow back again. And I can take all the 
the fish and frogs out of this little thing and the crawfish and put them back in there. And Kanye's still doing really well. These guys will be able to go back out to the pasture as soon as all this stuff is done and we need to start working on these other ponds. This is fancy Oklahoma river rock and there's moss on it that's still alive and active. Hopefully it doesn't just die though. That's about you guys all go in the comments and say, wow, Uncle Ben, that sure is some epic live moss that you have growing on your fancy rocks that you paid a lot of money for. And for some reason, Petunia just made a little nest of twigs and is now sleeping on it. She's like a little chicken. And because these dinguses love to chew on cords, I'm keeping them locked in here for now, at least until the construction on the pond is done. So we'll be fine in here for now, you little dink. Thankfully, this is right next to the door. So whenever I need to, I'll just dump it out there. And these guys have plenty of food and hay in here to eat. In the meantime, look how Kumala's just sitting in there when they're all just trying to drink. But I do need to keep these guys in here because they will chew on all the cords that we have out there if I don't. And these guys will be using these again to get all the nasty little soot off that gravel. Look at this little friendly bird, guys. Look at this adorable little friendly bird. He just wants to say hello. I'm sure he has no desire to hurt me at all and he just wants to say hello. No, oh, a nice new egg for me to eat. Oh, don't mind if I do. But there is nothing quite like seeing all of this beautiful grass on a nice spring day here. And these bees seem to really be enjoying this nectar. It's funny how these butterflies also enjoy it too. All right, Kevin, you can have those eggs for now. Look at this goofball just climbing around. This guy just sits at the corner of my bed every night. <coughs> every night I get to sit and read to this adorable little creature. Well, this little fella scares the heck out of him. Also, the little kitten is doing really well. He's running around with his tail up and that's a sign that he's about ready to be weaned. And Patrick Bateman loves to just sit and watch him, but he is kind of scared of this little fella. Oh, look at that. Okay, guys, I'm here at downtown Waco. They still haven't fixed the bridge that people toss tortillas off of. Ducks are starving to death. But all right, everybody, I brought this adorable little water snake. Take a look at this. See snakes here, especially water snakes all the time. This is a great little area where shad and other bait fish congregate. I picked this patch of sticks because I always find big water snakes in this patch of sticks. I think she's going to be just fine in there. And this is so far from my house that I'll never see her again. Good morning, Pat. Patrick Bateman, thanks for peeing on my towel. Instead of peeing on the carpet per usual. Oh, sweet heavens, look how precious this little creature is. I'm gonna eat this boy right up. Sure can't wait to shoot this little creature on a high fence ranch in West Texas. Man, he's still going. And I know you guys are gonna think I'm goofy for saying this, but the craziest thing is that the pee doesn't smell. These little fellas are doing very well and they all get along. There's no more bullying now that I've rehomed those other ones to my buddy. Car Carl's now a proud new father. Also, my new long ear sunfish are actually eating the cichlid food that I got. All right, Patrick, quit nibbling and listen up. Oh, sweet wampum. Based Patrick Bateman devouring the scriptures? Even though he's still favoring his leg a little bit, I like to take him out and let him hang out in this little spot outside. It's still so important for him to be able to stretch his legs. And him doing this is vital for his development, even if he's favoring that back right leg. All right, everybody, all these beautiful boys are finishing the pound. I went ahead and fed Homelander and these cringe are our emus. I might have gotten one little thing of feed in his ear hole, but I think he shook it out. We filled up these little things so they can shake off all the dirt from the gravel. And Karen and Kevin here had a couple more eggs. And I'm not at all worried about Kevin attacking me at all. Oh, <laughs> but as you can see, I have these sleeves here so it doesn't really hurt when he bites. It only just bruises a lot. So whenever I get home at night and I take a shower, it's just gonna hurt a lot. Okay, now let's take a look and see. Ooh, beautiful little, beautiful little yellow boy. Don't mind if I do. Take a look at this, ooh. Oh, but yeah, guys, see, there's really not much Kevin can do except uh, bite chunks out of my arm. Thankfully, I'm wearing this adorable little sleeve here, so he can't really attack me and hurt me. Just kidding, this does hurt a lot. And whenever I get home, I'm going to show you guys there's going to be a lot of bleeders and bruises all over my arm. I'll show you guys that you don't have to hit Kevin or hurt him. Mm -hmm. I don't have to grab him. Oh, that's his little noise that he made. Oh, <laughs> that hurt quite a bit. Oh, <laughs> that hurt too. Oh, <laughs> okay, that hurt. Oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, but I can't hit him because that's animal abuse. Oh, sorry, you can't hit him. I would hit him, you guys, but I can't because that's animal abuse and I just want to take his eggs so I can save them because he's not a good incubator. He's just going to let them rot. Come tomorrow, these eggs will get rained on if I don't pick them. Here, let me show you guys. I'm going to roll up my sleeve. <coughs> See, there's just a bunch of little bruises and bites all over it. A little bit of blood, but it's not that bad. It's not that hard to have Rhea in your backyard, you guys. Oh, that, ooh, that one's going to be a bleeder. Kevin's just a beautiful little animal, a little member of God's creation, you know, and it's not right for us to just hit him and hurt him just because he does the same thing to us. 
my love cured him. Fresh ones are, are yellow and then they fade after a little bit. But this is Soldier Boy and he was raised in my little living room. So he's super friendly. And Kevin's his papa. Look how red his eyes are. I haven't been hitting him or anything. That's just that's just sheer anger making his eyes bright red. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that sure doesn't feel good, Kevin. And then he just comes right back. And then you can just push him over. That's it. But yeah, Kevin will attack me all day and Soldier Boy's the other boy, but he doesn't want to... He just likes to peck at things, but that's not painful. And you can tell these ones are females just because of how small they are. They do bear a big resemblance to Karen. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the incubator. Ooh, little glizzy land right there. Oh, sweet wampum. So these are two other fresh goose eggs that I'm gonna put in the incubator too. Because of all this construction, I had to move the sheep and the geese into this little paddock here. And I put a ton of food down so they don't just eat all the grass immediately. And Obama's already laying a new egg in this nest, I think. This is the new nest that she just made. But okay, I just put the in here little baby kevin is doing really well he's eating and drinking just fine but there it is guys see it's not that bad to get bit by a rhea this is probably the worst one a little bit of a bleeder there but still it's not that bad guys every time this little man pees it just melts my heart well 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 look at this beautiful little red haired slider that i can legally eat look at this precious creature well oh nothing like finding new friends in the tunnels <laughs> delicious well what a great episode what's gonna happen to that turtle tune in next time to find out and watch the rest of the pond build <laughs> <laughs>